Greetings, everyone. I am Martina Severo, Oracle card reader, astrologer, certified infinite possibilities coach, and founder and creator of Finding Treasure, The Journey Home. I'm so grateful that you are here. Welcome to my channel. In case no one has told you today, you are beautiful just the way you are. You are precious and adored and loved beyond all measure. You are valued. You are worthy. You are needed. You are stronger than you think. You are here for a reason. You are going to get through any challenges that you may be facing. Don't give up before the miracle happens. You are not alone. You are safe and you are protected. And did I mention, I'm so happy you are here. I hope you will stay for a while. Slow down. Take time to breathe. Put your feet up. Relax. Take this time for yourself. You are worth it. This time together is for you. Love gathers here. And you are always welcome. And I hope that you will return. Today, I'm here with the energy forecast for the week of October the 29th to November the 4th. What do spirit, our angels, guides, and light workers want us to know for our highest good? See what spirit has to say. Special thanks goes out to all those who viewed last week's video, left a comment, or subscribed to my channel. I'm truly honored and most grateful. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you're seeing value in this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a share. It really makes a huge difference. In the description box below, you will find all the links to everything I mentioned in this video. I've also provided timestamps to help you find the information you're looking for quickly and easily. Remember to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If you are looking for information on what is going on in the heavens, I've created a list of some of the astrologers that I follow and put it in the description box below, along with a link to one of their social media platforms. Many of them post on more than one platform, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and have their own websites. A, simpler, a simple search and you will find them. But even simpler, I invite you to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, where I will continue to share their posts on my pages so you will find their information there as well. A one-stop shop, so to speak. So now let us ask Spirit, God, the universe, Yahweh, Source, Creator, Allah, Brahma, Jehovah, our higher power, what empowering message do Spirit, our angels, guides, and light workers want us to know for our highest good for the week ahead? From Colette Baron Reed's Wisdom of the Oracle card deck, we are gifted with number 30, Tick Tock. From the guidebook. Essential means, timelessness, divine timing, immeasurable time. The Oracle's message. When humans created time, everything changed and contracted. People have come to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the past is behind them and the future ahead of them. But what if that isn't true at all? What if everything, creativity, beauty, chaos, and order were happening now in a glorious timelessness? You have all the time in the world to co-create the life you desire, so release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now and always show up when you need them, right on time. Relationship message. Love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be coerced. Everything has its season, its divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love to find it, to nurture it, to give and receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart in perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. Prosperity message. 
Your prosperity is co-created by your endeavors as they occur in human-made time and the eternal efforts of your most important manifestation partner, spirit, in a divine, measureless time. So keep doing what you're doing. Stay positive and make a commitment to remain in high vibration thoughts and feelings. If you heed the message of this card, it will seem as if you will align with your highest calling and your highest good in no time at all, like magic. So what's all the fuss about not having enough time? The prosperous life that is yours will never pass you by. What a beautiful message for us for the week ahead. Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now and always show up when you need them right on time. Divine timing. To have the eyes to see and the heart to know and to trust. Not always easy. Though we may be feeling the pressure to get things done, to fix things, to do it right, to find the perfect gift, to take on and complete chores, projects, and have endless lists, it's important to remember to slow down, go with the flow, and trust in divine timing. All will be well. It's not all up to us. We are safe and protected, loved and adored, guided and protected by a power far greater than ourselves. We just need to let go and let God. The universe, spirit, Jesus, creator, Yahweh, Jehovah, Brahma, Allah will be there for us. Co-creating with our higher power, we can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine, all in divine timing. This brings to mind one of my favorite Facebook pages that I follow, Meditations and Musings by Jody Dote. Jody writes, my words are inspired through daily meditation on the divine. I believe every moment guides us on our spiritual journey. My words flow from the deep heart that beats within each person. My soul writings, musings, poetry, and prose are focused on living your best life through the lens of the divine perspective. My musings and posts are shared with the hope that they will speak to the heart and soul, help light a path, and provide hope encouragement, and inspiration. I love her work. Reflecting on divine timing, timelessness, the past, present, and future brought to mind many of Jody's inspiring posts, and I'd like to share some of them with you. I hope that they may encourage and bless you as well. October the 23rd, Jody wrote, Bless your mistakes. They helped you to learn more about who you are, who you want to be, how you want to live your life, and whom you want in your life. Bless your past for all the memories you've made and shared that brought you to now. Bless your resilience and your willingness to start new each day. Bless the people who cross your path, some for a lifetime, and others like Haley's Comet for a brief, shining moment, and then gone. Each has contributed to your soul's evolution and change. Bless God for watching over you, for comforting you when you fall, and celebrating with you when you triumph. Finally, bless you for being on this glorious journey called life. You are loved and appreciated. March the 8th, Jody wrote, Suddenly, time has caught up with you. Mother Nature has waved her magic wand, and your divine self is holding a mirror before you. You may feel like a young soul, but you, my dear, are an elder, a bearer of truth and experience. There's wisdom that comes from the fleshy mileage and the white hair. There's a weighing of your energy and a pondering of autonomy. Value is placed on issues of the heart. Anger is now tempered with equal parts cynicism and hope. You no longer sprint, but you walk your path deliberately and you've learned to ask for help. Pain has taught you resilience and relationships have shaped your beliefs, good or bad, in the virtues and pitfalls of humanity. 
You're less concerned about clocks and deadlines and more cognizant that time is to be treasured and measured in moments. Your reflection is a little tired, your bones a little worn, and your heart a bit stretched and tested. Your eyes see like a three-way mirror the past, the now, and a foggy early morning sleep in your eyes glimpse of what may be coming. But you are a survivor, a thriver of life, and it's time to step back and breathe. Feel the blessing of gratitude for what you've gained and leave the rest for those coming behind you to sort out. You are a brilliant, divine being in a well-traveled physical shell. Celebrate today with the best you have. It's pretty darn amazing, and you worked hard to get here. January 30th, Jody wrote, Are you available to yourself? Are you present and aware? If you've checked out, the good news is you can check back in any time you want. Put you on your priority list. Say hello to your soul. Be home to you. Now is your point of change the place that your body loves. Often we are either living in the past, reveling in the good old days, or focusing on the future by imagining what it could be. All the while, though, we are missing life right now. The feel of the wind and the sun on our skin, the freedom of movement, attention to conversations and others, and experiencing what is happening this very moment. Our minds tend to wander, and we are not always aware of or open to our unfolding moments. Some of us miss entire weeks, months, or even years stuck on something painful from the past because we are still emotionally living there. If you find that you are sad quite often, you are, you are probably more focused in the past and are not here and present to your life now. If you are experiencing anxiety or fear, you are most likely focused on the future. Your body operates best with you right here, right now, in this moment, and at this time in your present awareness. While it's wonderful to reflect on the past or make dreams for the future, don't spend the majority of your time in either place. There is much more to see, feel, taste, explore, experience, create, and love about yourself and the world now. The easiest way to be present is to pat your legs or snap your fingers, thank your body for hanging in with you, and tell yourself the date, including year, literally reminding yourself to be in this time and space. Doing an activity that you're totally immersed in that gives you joy like dancing or painting or gardening or singing, for example, bring you present. Enmesh yourself in the joy of new experiences and self-created blessings. Happy now. March the 14th, Jody wrote, you are loved, accepted, and appreciated. You are forgiven for whatever keeps you doubting, disliking, or beating yourself up. You are beautiful. Truly you are even if you don't believe it, are humble or see yourself in a different mirror of your own making. Your soul is magnificent and it shines from within you. You have permission to start over, change your life, learn new things, be the amazing soul you are and shine as brightly as you wish in your own little corner of the world. Go forth. Be you. Do you love you. May the 6th, Jody wrote, there's a gentle peace that happens when I accept and acknowledge all the experiences that came before and brought me to this moment. I cannot change the circumstances of my past, but I can bless and release them with self-love, compassion, and understanding to the divine memory bank of my life. Today is my new New over. Let the opportunities and choices begin. And on April the 21st, she wrote, Then one day I gave up the struggle. I trusted the unfolding of my life, the divine timing, the comings and goings, the cycles of change, and the spiritual freedom that comes 
with surrendering to a higher love. This has made all the difference. Amen. I hope. And so it is. If you would like to follow Jody, you will find a link to her Facebook page in the description box below. This empowering message from TikTok was for anyone who happens to read or listen to it. Now, let's make this more personal. I invite you to tune into your intuition. Let go of all worries and distractions just for this short time. Let's gather our energies and come back to our heart. Hand on heart. Breathe slowly and deeply and take a look at these three cards. Which one is calling to you? Ask yourself, what message, what wisdom does spirit have for me for the week ahead? Do you feel called to card number one? Or does your intuition say, yes, it's card number two. Or does your intuition say, nope, it's card number three. Card number one. Is from Denise Lynn's Native Spirit Oracle card deck. Warrior of the Heart. Hard meaning. You have the radiant spirit of a warrior of the light. Be impeccable in all of your actions. No matter what others believe, the creator always knows the truth. This isn't the time to be timid and pull back. Immense courage is filling you. Throw your shoulders back, step forward, and take a risk. Be willing to live life from your heart rather than your mind. Honor your truth. Speak up for yourself. Your native spirit wants you to know the greatest native warriors weren't the ones who wounded the most people. They were those remarkable beings who had such a personal power that enemies lay down their weapons rather than fight. There are times in life to step back and even times to walk away, but there are also times to stand up for yourself and those less advantaged. Don't allow yourself to be limited by your belief system. Courage doesn't mean that you aren't afraid. Fearless means just that. Fear less. Acknowledge that you're frightened and take action anyway. Face your anxiety and go beyond the boundaries of limited perceptions of yourself. Through your example, people find and act on their truth. You're a light bearer for others. The journey. List everything that you are afraid of. Then next to that list, write every reason why it's important to overcome that fear. In other words, what does that fear cost you? Then make a list of the various ways that you can overcome that fear. Card number two is from Kyle Gray's The Angel Guide Oracle Card Deck, Ease and Grace. Your message. This is a time to learn and adapt. You are being guided to slow down, take your time, take in the current moment, and allow space for events to occur. You often put too much pressure and expectation on yourself, and this is not required. Also, with constant effort and rush, you'll find yourself becoming overwhelmed and tired. When you are too forceful, you use up too much energy and that may hinder your progress at this time. If you are in a difficult situation at work or with other people, don't feel you have to prove your skills, talents, or worth. Just step back and breathe. And through grace, you will be seen, understood, and recognized for who you truly are. Extended message. 
You are being guided to flow like water. Don't feel the need to rush or force your way ahead. A gentle approach will be more rewarding. Have patience and move with subtlety and grace. Your angel guide is encouraging you to see life as a dance. One step at a time, you will make your way through this incredible journey, learning more and growing along the way. How can you move with more elegance? How can you slow down? How can you bring more grace and poise to your current situation? This is a time to soften, breathe, and move in a way that is steady but flowing. This information may come as a surprise or even a challenge to you, but your angels know it will be beneficial for what is coming your way next. Card number three is from Colette Baron reads the Spirit Animal Oracle card deck. Number 44, Panther Spirit. Essential meaning. Reclaim your power. Oracle message. It takes courage to face challenges and right now, Panther Spirit is here to say that you are braver than you think. Now is the time to take a risk and step into a different aspect of your being. Speak as you have never spoken before. Act as you have always dreamed you might have the courage to act. Love fearlessly and fully and expect to feel the adrenaline rush as you are initiated into a new, braver, bolder self. Panther Spirit says the time for dreaming about what you want to do is giving way to that first courageous act toward reclaiming your Panther Spirit and power. Your new identity may feel strange at first, but you have what it takes and your soul wants this. Be bold. May these interpretations be a guide. Allow understanding to unfold within you. Honor your individual wisdom from within over the coming week as you open yourself to the message of the card that you have picked. Stay open and curious and listen to the still small voice from within that you can always rely upon. Trust spirit. Wow, such beautiful, powerful messages. Is there something from today's video that speaks to your heart? I would love to know which card you picked and how its message resonated with you. Tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. No matter where we are on our life's journey, Spirit, God, our Creator, the universe is always with us, loves us dearly, and only wants the best for us. We are divinely guided and protected. Finding the treasure in the challenges, that's what I try to do, and I can help you do it too. I would be most honored and happy to be of service to you. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and be sure to explore my website. It's easy to navigate and to find, schedule, and pay for services with just the click of a button. You're also able to book a free consultation with me. In the description box below, you'll find all the links to everything I mentioned in this video. You will also find a link to my upbeat and or inspiring music playlist and direct links to some of the videos in my Getting to Know Me playlist. Be sure to check them out. Sending you so much love. I send you more than enough. May you be blessed with everything you need and so much more. Have a wonderful week ahead. Namaste.